let's explore the dynamic aspects of the dashboard. First, we will add a filter from the site menu. Filters configured here can have an effect over the full dashboard or specific charts. After adding a new filter, you can select the column, criteria, and desired value. You see that the dashboard adapts when selecting apply filters. Interactive filter items can be added to the dashboards to allow the users to narrow down the information they're visualizing. In this example, we add a slider item and add the date column to it, as well as a slicer that we can add the city column to. By clicking on the settings of a filter, we can make sure that the filter objects filter each other. As such, when you select the value in the left filter object, the right filter object will only show the data for that specific value. This will make the search process more efficient. Now, let's add a line chart as well. You will now see that the data in an object can be filtered by using a filter object on top, but also by clicking on an item inside a chart, like a bar in the bar chart. 